much to play next. And tiny We're on our way to Dexter's swimming lesson now. It's actually quite warm. Hang on. And Take my, my cardigan off. Yeah. Let's get going. We just got up to the greenhouse to check it out a little bit and this is Dexter's broad bean plant here. Yeah, I started from, from down there to up there. Yeah, he got um, broad bean seeds in a two can box and so he planted them up in the greenhouse and his is, like, we have a lot of broad beans obviously over here and stuff, but his is the biggest that has come on the best. Yeah, um, can you show me the tallest one? Let's see, what one looks the tallest? I think it's this one here. Oh, let's just get down on the level. Yep, that is the tallest. You claimed that one. Yep, that's mine. So I'm going to win the growing competition. High five. I didn't bring my sunglasses today and I should have. It's looking pretty good in there. And we also have some raised beds put in, which... Did I film these going in the other day? I think I filmed them going in. She planted so, a Dexter. So we're planting some Dexters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hey everybody, here we go. This is chosen by the world. This is the ultimate one. How dangerous that was. All right, Dexter, what, oh, what is the next stop? McDonald's. Yes, Dexter gets a McDonald's on a Sunday after swimming. He's not had one for quite a while. Yeah. Because it's disgusting. No, it's not. Mm. You can go get him that, and then we're going to phone Grandpa. We've just come to... <laughs> okay, we've just come to um, Horses Field here, because there's an old hotel. And I just thought it'd be cool to have a look around it and potentially, potentially send the drone up over the top of it to get a good view. It has been quite showery, but it seems to have stopped raining now. So yeah. if that rain stays off, I will send it up and over and get a good look at it because I, I think it'd be pretty cool. You didn't even notice the rain? I did. Or you're the one who noticed the rain? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. So yeah, let's go and get some cool shots of this abandoned, crumbling building. You see? More ruins. That's going to take a while well, to get to that hotel. Yeah. Pretty cool. So, you all need to jump electric fences. And movies. Yeah. Mm. They, all, they always make it really dramatic. Yep, it's pretty dramatic. Right, we'll go over to the actual hotel now. I'm supposed to check what we've left. Ah, uh, another one of the logs. Right, dramatically jump over it, Dexter. Is that the hotel? Yep. They usually walk over them. And they usually balance with the lips. The electric things like booby traps. What? Booby traps. Yeah. Mm.
I accidentally crashed the drone. Ow! It's alive! Oh no, wait, hang on, I've got splinters, well, thorns in my finger. Ouch. I have a thorn in this finger. Whoa. I crashed it because I was, well, I wanted to put it through that little gap in the trees, which I managed to do fine. But then when I brought it back, I crashed it into all those um, bushes. It's alive! It's alive, it's fine. I actually, I expected it to have a broken propeller, but it didn't. I'm gonna get this thorn out my finger. Um, yeah, so I mean, I'm covered in scratches and I'm bleeding, but um, the drone's fine, which is pretty good because it crashed into a bush and then fell into that pile of brambles. So, um, yeah, I was really expecting one of the, the rotors to break, but it didn't. Luckily what? Yeah, we, we have spare um, propellers even. Yep, yeah, we have spare propellers. But luckily we didn't even have to use them. I heard movement in the bushes. Probably just like a horse. Probably just like some sort of animal or a ghost. It's a haunted hotel. by myself because Dexter's going in to my dad's house. I got pretty scratched up when I was saving the drone from those um, brambles and stuff. Like I have a little scratch in my finger as well and yeah. Pretty sure my legs look like that too but um did fly it again and it's absolutely fine. The propellers didn't snap. It's all good. Lesson learned. Don't try and dodge between little tree gaps. I think the problem actually was that I went slightly off course and then I panicked and corrected it and then I corrected it far too harshly and just crashed it into some branches. So I need to just calm down and do little tiny movements and if it's going off course, not panic about it. But anyway, it's fine. It survived. It's all good. Some kilt walk people. 